what's going on guys night sky driver something's been going on in my area and i don't understand it maybe you guys can help me figure it out but i haven't been getting any good offers on uber at all i mean even the cherry picking is almost at a standstill because i'm just not getting any offers and it used to be the opposite way it used to be, I used to get mostly offers from Uber. Even if they were bad, I got more offers more often. Now, at some point, I wanna say, it didn't just happen January, I wanna say this started around December. I started noticing the difference around December. I'm like, I'm starting to get way more offers for trips on Lyft. And people, the passengers, are telling me that Lyft is getting slightly more expensive, but yet I'm getting more offers. And here's my theory about that. My theory is the market's just plainly oversaturated and on both sides, but you gotta understand, especially here in Connecticut, there's gonna be way more offers on Uber in general, but the reason why I'm not seeing the offers is there's so many drivers. This holds for Connecticut and probably a lot of other places. They have 90% of the market, so, or 80% they say. So you're gonna get way more offers on Lyft simply because I think there's less Lyft drivers. So it seems like, you know, they're giving me more offers and it seems like there's slightly more money. It could just be me, but what I'm seeing, like when you get one person at a price shop and you'll see it's the same offer on both Uber and Lyft come in, usually Lyft is giving me a dollar to $2 more, sometimes even $3 more than the same offer on Uber. And I think Uber is getting so greedy only because they have more drivers now. So you notice the offers are coming in less. They don't have to do as much surge. They don't have to. Both markets are saturated, but Uber's really saturated because they have the dominant ride share market. So you're just gonna get less offers, but here, and my particular area, like it's, it's a complete shift. Where I used to get like, and for every five offers on Uber, I'd maybe get one on Lyft. It's the complete opposite now. I will get sometimes five offers on Lyft to that one offer on Uber. The only time I notice I'll get a lot of Uber offers or requests is in the afternoon, after four, the traffic's picked up. The traffic's horrendous at this point. You know, everybody's trying to get home and they'll give me offers from say like New Britain or Bristol to Hartford when there's rush hour traffic and you don't want to take those offers. And of course, they're giving me all those offers because nobody's taking them. And they're really lowballing me because the algorithm tells, tells them he's a sucker. He'll take the lesser amount because he's desperate. And I think the algorithm on Uber is showing that because it's so saturated, it's hard to train the algorithm on such a dominant force where with Lyft what I was doing is I refused to take any order under like 425 the shortest ride you could think about I would not take unless it was paying a minimum for 425 sorry so you guys might be thinking well that's still low well I hate to tell you guys but here in my area there's a lot of $3 offers on Lyft, a lot. 
And even when they're offering you a, uh, where they're giving you bonuses, I refuse to take anything under 425. And I think that simple act maybe train the algorithm a little bit on my side because now on lift, I don't, I'm starting to see the shortest trips they're giving me that minimum where they used to give me a lot more $3 offers. Don't get me wrong. Every blue moon, I'll still get like a $3 offer. I just don't accept it. It's just that simple. And I think to test the theory, I'm going to start going up to five where I don't accept anything under five. And a lot of you are probably going to be thinking, well, you're not going to get a lot of offers at all. And I think it's different with Lyft. Because you gotta look at it like this. Lyft has less drivers. So they're not willing, they'll, will, they'll be willing to lose money on a trip just to keep that customer. Where Uber, they don't they don't have to worry about that because there's always a driver somewhere nearby. <coughs> Excuse me. That's my theory anyway. Is that they're just Lyft is more often willing to lose money on a trip just to keep that rider happy. So a lot of times you'll be the only person in that area, and this happens to me. You guys hit me in the comments if it happens to you, where I'll get an offer on Lyft, and it's too low. I won't take it. They'll send me the exact same offer, but it'll be like a dollar to two dollars more. And I think the algorithm is, I'm training the algorithm to do that, where Uber's not going to do that. They simply have too many drivers. Where somebody's going to take that low ball offer. Where Lyft will do that too, but they, they have less wiggle room. Because they have less drivers. Not every driver does both. I'm hearing that. Um, the math is showing that not every driver does both. I think they all should do both. But it's just simply not, some people simply only like Lyft, some people simply only like Uber. I only have both for for situations like this. Uber used to make 80% of my money. It's literally shifted from December to now where Lyft is giving me all, more offers. And I think it's primarily my theory is holding true that the market's just saturated more on Uber side and um, there's not too much we can do about it if you continue driving it's only going to get more saturated and I'm suspecting that going into this winter there's going to be a lot more layoffs and I think people are going to jump right into gig economy and um from what I'm hearing, delivery is not what it used to be during the pandemic. It's it's dropped dramatically. Um, I believe rideshare even makes slightly more money than delivery. If you do the math and how much involved with working and, you know, you got to go up flights of steps and it's just too much energy spent on, you know, a $5 order where $5 a rideshare it's simply dropping somebody off and you go about your day. You know, you usually don't even have to get out of the car because no one tips nowadays. Um, I never even get out of the car to put your groceries in. You got to do it yourself. So that's where we're at right now. And um, it's it's troubling, but it's to be expected in ride share and it's only going to get worse, guys. This is why we got to come up with new ways to make money. Um, this is why I'm doing affiliate marketing on the side. There is a link below if you want to check out my offer. And this is where we are right now. Um, Rideshare is not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. Um, and if you're not buying an electric car like they want you to, they're even penalizing you for that because they want to offer you more money. I'm even hearing they'll even offer you more trips simply because you either rent or own a Tesla. For that act alone, I'm hearing you will get 
uh, a lot more in trips just having a Tesla or renting a Tesla. To me, that's just crazy. You know, but this is where we're at. This is ride share. Um, this is why I got to do affiliate marketing. This is why I got to step my AI game up because I got to have a backup plan. Ride share is no longer it, guys. Check the links below. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.